Hi Interwebs, Girl Gems here with a commentary over a public game lobby um, of Search and Destroy on Underground. Um, it's just a few rounds of it. Um, this is one of my favourite maps for S&D. I think it's fairly balanced, uh, very good size, and there's cover for both attack and defence. It's also the map I got a score of over a thousand on one round. Um, we got zero kills. That was during uh, Scrim back in the day when I was subbing for my Faith Boys who had it for a draft comp map and they said to me, Frankie, we just need you to get the bomb down. We can lock it down, um, take care of everything else and so just get it planted. And so I did. And I died from a barrage of nades split seconds later. Um, it was hideous, but we won the round and I top scored and didn't even fire a shot. Um, anyway, what I want to talk about today is something that I have been asked about a few times over the years and it goes along the lines of I like this chick we hang out online and play games and I really like her and how do I tell her uh, and that's cool and it can certainly happen but just like um, IRL there's risks when you try to take something from platonic to something more serious um, and before you go declaring your undying love for this girl you should be very sure that you know what's going on in your own head so here's a little checklist that I prepared for you to go through to try and pinpoint exactly how you feel. First question is, are you absolutely sure that you're not just getting hormonal because she's a gamer chick? Uh, is it about her prowess as a gamer and an equal that's impressing you more than her actual personality? If you met her in real life, would you want to hang out with her? Are you just feeling protective of her because some of the guys online are absolute jer jerks towards her? Um, what do you know about her off game? Do you know anything about her? What else do you have in common, really? And if you're online hanging out off the game, do you enjoy that? Do you just like spending time with her even when you're not poning? And when you are gaming, does she include you with her other friends? Um, do you feel part of her online life? And does she miss you when you can't hang out and play? I have a theory that things can get out of hand between chicks and blokes online so quickly when we game together. Um, I think it happens because we're not actually looking for a relationship there. It's not like eHarmony or one of those dating websites where you're obviously trying to find a soulmate. It's more a surprise online when you connect with someone through a game. Um, and then add to that a uh, highly charged emotional experience with a friend you've made who's stimulating you intellectually um, you're in real danger of getting carried away there so um, think about the questions that I just asked and try to tie down the nature of your attraction before you risk spoiling it all because that's that's essentially what can happen here you can ruin a great friendship just like just like anywhere else so yeah just like with an actual real-life girl you could freak her out and drive her away and you, don't, you probably really don't want to do that. If you choose to tell her how you feel, you do need to be prepared that um, she could absolutely um, be surprised. She may have no clue how you feel and not feel the same for you. So there could be some fallout, um, some distance um, that she puts between you afterwards. And that could be even if she does feel the same way. She might just not like the idea of online dating or... Um, or a distance relationship if um, if you don't live close to each other geographically so be cool regardless of how you feel don't um, expect her to change the way she is just because you feel a certain way try not to be jealous remember that um, she's an individual and she can play with whomever she likes she she doesn't owe you her time and just because you don't want to play with anyone else doesn't mean that she should ignore her friends um, the best advice I can give you about this stuff is to keep it real. Um, try not to ignore people in your actual world in favour of the chance of something with someone online. Don't um, dismiss opportunities offline for the hint of a chance with someone online because the odds really are against it. Um, as I said in a previous vid, it's likely that neither of you are being entirely honest about yourself. You're um, you have this wonderful way that you can portray a stylized version of who you want the world to see you as and not who you really are. And I am 100% sure that this wonderful, beautiful girl who you think is just the most amazing creature on earth is doing exactly the same thing because we do have a choice of how we portray ourselves. And she wants you to like her and she 
has this way of not needing the world to see the the bits that she doesn't want to share. So just be aware of that because you're doing it, she's doing it. So be careful. But if you are so sure that you have this opportunity with someone, you're so sure that you have this connection and it's real, then ask yourself those questions. And if the answer is, I still want to try, go for it. Be brave. Um, be prepared for everything to change, for better or worse, and good luck. Comment below about your personal experience. Um, like I'm sure we all know gaming daters who worked out um, and those who didn't. So I want to know about epic romantic fails and wonderful success stories for people about people who met online and made it work. I have one of my own that I may tell you about one day. But for now, I am out of here and I'll catch you later.